This is the uh, SmartTrack hybrid foil rudder system, and it's, this is the one we use on most touring kayaks, which has a plastic housing, and it says hybrid foil rudder on it by SmartTrack. The other ones we use are the compact and the ski rudders on other boats. But this one's designed for the rudder to stow horizontally in the boat so there's less windage and it's easier to, to, to stow when you're driving. But this has a, a blind fitting called a bayonet pin style. So it has a little two inch long post with a flat face and a, and a, a little channel key. So this fits into the, uh, into the corresponding tube in the stern of the boat. And firstly, you wanna make sure that you have the fender washer on here so that it reduces any friction between the parts when the steering. So you rotate uh, from the stern clockwise about 110 degrees uh, to the bow and you'll feel it kind of drop into place and it should be now almost touching the top of the tube and you rotate it back and that is now keyed and it can't come out of the boat. So then we move on to the uh, installing the rudder blade itself which is a uh, a foil shaped profile so this this makes water flow over the uh, the blade more efficiently and it keeps pressure on here so it steers better with less less steering and less steering this, this movement, you get more pressure with steering, so it's more efficient in the water. As you notice, the Smart Track rudders use springs to uh, help either deploy or retract the rudder. The hybrid foil is used to retract the rudder, but you gotta make sure that you install it correctly or you're gonna unwind the spring and they won't fit in. So what I do is I, first you need to make sure that you uh, install, install the, uh, re the, the deployment line into the rudder. So there's a little notch here with a hole. So you wanna run a line through the notch then you pull the uh, the knot into the hole, and that will then keep the uh, keep the line in place. Takes a little fidgeting to get in there sometimes. There we go. So now you're ready. So what I do is I uh, I make sure that the uh, the rudder is kind of step in a direction that that you need and and then you will rotate it back up onto the deck. And you gotta make sure that the, uh, the line is around the right, right way, around this little wheel here, because this helps deploy it. So this is inside here, and you rotate back on the deck. And so now it's sitting neatly in the V, v cleat, and then we'll grab the control knob, this here, and we'll push it through um, the housing and the rudder, rudder blade assembly. And We'll then just compress it. We don't turn this at all, so you want to have zero tension when it's on the deck. Um, and then you push this through, and then on the back side there's a uh, there's a little collar pin. You push through this the hole here in, in the back side of the um, control knob, and that keeps it in place. Now, now you're ready for you're ready for action. So you've got the um, rudder set up, and it's in the V cleat. And then to deploy the rudder, you will grab grab the knob in the front here, and you pull up. And you'll clean it down so now it's in the uh, steering active position. When you're ready to uh, return to the deck, you just uncleat the line and it springs by itself back on the deck.